Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to The Evil Within. Now it has been a long time since I last picked up the series and since then there have been three, count them, three individual DLC packs releasing new content about the story of this game. And a lot of you guys have been often asking for me to play the DLC and I did not know that there were three whole packs. I thought it would have just been a small thing but apparently these are full-fledged parts of the story. This one picks up on Kidman and whatever the hell she was- hello. Oh, I thought those were- I, oh, hey. Because I know it has been a long time since I've had an ongoing series, and I figured this one might be just the ticket to get started back into those things. Yes, yes, I know I did all this. Oh no, it's so dark! Is this one actually gonna be scary? One can only hope. And I was playing it to Alien- with Mobius? I don't know what Mobius I is. I made my choice. Oh. Okay. All right. So where are we waking up? Oh, are we all the way in back in the ambulance? Oh man, it's amazing. When I was loading up this game, it was it was rather crazy how quickly all of it like came flooding back to me when I was trying to think of it, and I can remember the entire game. Is this a gratuitous ass shot? Is that entirely necessary when we're loading up on the female protagonists that we're playing in the DLC? How sexist is this? Okay, bye. Alright, whatever. Okay, so, uh, w what I was saying before is that I was playing Alien Isolation at the same time as this, and speaking of female protagonists, uh, but I thoroughly liked... Okay. Oh, I see how this is. So each of them woke up in different places, remember, because they're all in Ruvik's mind. If you haven't seen The Evil Within, I highly recommend going back and watching it, or going back and playing it for yourself. It might be on sale uh, for the Steam sale. Wow, Crash. this controls. I wasn't alone. Yeah, no, Where you weren't alone. Everybody? Those were all my questions when I first loaded up this game a while ago. Am I going the right way? Man, the controls seem just a little bit different from what I remember. I was playing this with a controller last time, right? Well, that's that's fun. Also, is it is it just me or does it look a little better too? I have no idea. Oh yeah, go into the dark cave of whispers. It's what's his face? <laughs> Leslie, Leslie, that was his face. And Jojo, I'm gonna meet Jojo again. I can't wait to meet Jojo again. I hope he gets our poon through his head again. Oh, no. Whoa! Okay! Hi! Excuse you! Bad touch! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Oh! Oh, that was awesome! It didn't work, but it was awesome! Ow, my spine! Oh, heal through the jaw! Okay, that was cool. Come on, you've been through worse. You know, you know what's weird? I remember everyone else's name. I don't remember the main character's name when I played him in, in throughout the entire thing of Evil Within. I just remember him as cliche detective. Drunk, dead wife, no family. And shit, I've got to get out of here. No kidding, Kidman. I really, and I really want to know, like, what was Kidman doing? Like, why was Kidman having her own objectives? What was she pursuing? Hello, uh, KCPD criminal record uh, expunged, expunged, expunged. Criminal trespass, grand theft, vagrancy, shoplifting, burglary, possession of controlled substance with intent to sell, and assault on an officer. Blah blah. Bad stuff. Whoever's file this is. Ooh. What the hell is that? Is that something I need to worry about? Alright, never mind then. It's not just me, right? This looks like a little bit better be oh, how do I crouch again? Oh god, I gotta relearn all the controls. Well, that's how I do a heel kick. Oh, it's right bumper? Why is it right? Smells like blood. What smells like blood? Certainly not me. The woman covered in blood. Alrighty then. There's no going back. Okay, how do I do? Oh, that's how I do. Okay. You're a backup. Okay, cool. I'm a backup to what? The main guy, whatever his name is? 
It probably. Hey, where's Joseph? Jojo! Everyone must be dead. It's a good assumption to make. Ha! Okay. He'll kick my way through that. Because I'm a strong, independent woman. Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, is that Leslie? Leslie! It's me! Don't run away! Oh, that's not Leslie. That is not Leslie. Oh, that's one of the uh, patients here. Leslie. That's not Leslie. Oh, that is Leslie. 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 Sorry, I'm just a little bit too excited about this. Hello. Leslie, Leslie Withers. Uh huh. That's not me. I'm sorry. Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. Excuse me while this I look all over the place. Matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. No, you seem like a serious right. guy. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. Mm -hmm. Have no illusions. Is that like double entendre going on there? Okay, so what's really interesting is that answer. Hello, cat. Hi. Why do you have a ribbon around your neck? That's symbolism or something important or something I need to remember. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Alrighty hey then. There. I wasn't Where going did anywhere. You come from? Oh! Oh, the kitty cat's my save point? Cool! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Alright. So what's really interesting is that answers a lot of questions. Because at the end of the game, it seemed to go crazy because obviously we were in Ruvik's mind and things were just falling apart everywhere. Okay, can't see your face. Something's weird about that, but all right, whatever. Okay, so like with that being said, the more interesting thing was why was she here and why did you wake up in a different place and why was it all related and what was going on in that hospital in the first place? Like, oh, the, all those were questions that were left open, but I'm actually glad that things are kind of being answered right off the bat here. Like, okay, so she's working for a company. If you guys are unfamiliar with, like, I- There's gonna be spoilers, obviously, if you haven't seen the original Evil Within, you're gonna need to go back and watch it, unless you just don't wanna hold- or, or I don't wanna hold. If you don't wanna get spoilers, then I- I'm sorry, I can't talk about this story, uh, without giving some spoilers. Which I'll get back to as soon as this guy goes up this escalator, and probably talks to me. If Jimenez activates the system, you'll be pulled in. Why? Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination. Mm. This is like why a vaccine? she didn't go. To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We develop STEM. But there is a ghost in the system. Something we call Ruvik. Oh. It means to keep us out. Yeah, I know. This infusion should protect you to some extent. Mm hmm so why did the other guy have to do all the hard work? Unless I'm gonna find out that Kidman was actually pulling a lot of strings behind the scenes. Which would be totally awesome and explain a lot of what she was doing and why it was so hard to meet up with her and why she kept disappearing like that. Because obviously, the main character, whatever his name is, De is Captain alone? Detective. You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. Yeah, the friendly bunch. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. Uh-huh. But their consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Not quite from what I remember. Click. I'll get to, I'll talk to more about this as soon as this is done. I don't want to miss any of this. 
We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. You got it. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Death. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Mm -hmm. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. Mm -hmm. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Mm -hmm. Now you must back up your words with actions. Do not <laughs> waver. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm going to count down. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten. Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Abandoned by the ones you trusted. You mean like right now? <gasps> Gasp. Okay. Oh, is this where I'm gonna inject brain juice into me? Probably. That looks painful. Okay, so am I in the dream world now? Ow! Is oh 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 oh. That reminds me that I need to donate blood soon. Uh. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I'm in the dream world now. Okay, so to recap from what happened- hello. Hi? How are you? Oh, don't mind me! I'm okay! Oh, okay! Alrighty then. Anyone? Hey you, weird, obviously monster guy! Uh, you better run, or else I'm gonna get you with my heel kick! Cause that's the only thing I got right now. I bet I got some badass martial arts moves, but for right now I'm pretty sure. Oh. Hello. I'm just trying to explore around to see if Ooh, I need this! Flashlight! Yes, I did a goodie! Okay, so finally I have time to talk. So Oh. Maybe I was supposed to go this way. Okay, to recap what happened from the original game and why I was on? so confused all the time. Uh, Where did everyone go? It, it, you were going through the whole game as the main character, but now I'm starting to understand that the main character actually didn't know anything. Especially didn't know anything about the game or uh, the mission that Kidman has. And Kidman is obviously working for this company that developed the system that allows people to go into people's minds. And that's important because... For the story as a whole, that makes sense. But where that falls short is that it counts for the story to be finished in DLC, and I don't know if that was done intentionally to be able to sell DLC, but who knows? Like, to be honest, I don't mind. I'll have a better judgment at the end of it all. Hello? Does anyone need to be kicked here? I've got a mean kick waiting for- oh, kick! Okay, just checking. Okay, that's sprint. Okay, now I know where- Oh, I forgot the sprint system sucks! Oh, this looks intense. Am I gonna be able to do something about this? Wow! She is strong! Look at her. But where the hell am I going now? And also, am I- Is this still after the ambulance? Or is this- Oh, hey, how's it going? Help! Hey. Not the light! Not the light! Hold on, I'm gonna find a way in there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't because I got a bad feeling about people with shadowy faces. Mm, what is this? Is this glowy important? Seems like it. Yeah! Forgot about all the quick time events. Oh yeah, and what I was saying before about alien isolation. Alien isolation. I was playing at the same. I'm never gonna be able to get through this slot. No, no. Huh? Are those the splattering sounds of joy? Whoa, hi there! Your heels are almost as nice as mine! Oh, okay! That was weird! Alrighty then. Anyway, so what I've been trying to say for the past ten minutes, 
Uh, I was playing The Evil Within at the same time as Alien Isolation, and the interesting thing about that is that oh, they get shit. compared a lot. What could have done this? Oh god, I didn't even notice that he didn't have his upper half. Well, I think the thing walking in stiletto heels might have had something to do with it. Also, it definitely had something to do with it. So, when I was playing both of them, they got compared, and admittedly, I liked Alien Isolation a lot more than I liked The Evil Within, but that doesn't mean that I didn't like The Evil Within. The Evil Within is actually a really good game, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's not a great game. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a cover system. Whoa. <laughs> call enemy? Really? I can call him? I didn't know about that. And the reason why I liked Alien Isolation more, if I can get through a few more thoughts, before something distracts me again. I hear something. Come here! Come here! Come hither! Okay, so he's gonna go- Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, I screwed it up already! Get a heel kick! Ha! Kick! Ha! Wow, why are you glowing red? Can I have your knife? Ha! You'll never get me! Oh, I forgot the melee is super weak. Oh, okay, that hurt a lot. Please don't do that again. I'm not going to be able- okay. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't be a playthrough of Markiplier if I didn't die and suck right off the bat. Ignore that that ever happened. And I can finally finish a thought! But I was playing Alien Isolation. Hey, God, what the frick? What is that baloney? Oh! I am never going to be able to finish my damn thought! Oh! I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. Uh-huh. That's that doctor that didn't fare so well in the first game. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna finish my damn thought. So I got out of my face! I want to talk! Ah, oh, shut up! The problem with playing both of them at the same time, although it was a great experience, I'm really happy that those two games came out at the same time, but the main problem that occurred with that was that judgment spilled over between the two and these games are very different like very very different so when I was playing them I wish I could have given them more of an isolated experience no pun intended for alien isolation but I wish that I could have done something a bit more robust in terms of spacing things out like that and I don't think it would have like changed my opinion of the games I still like the games I think they're good games but on a whole sense like uh, having the two experience blend together and also be judged by everyone watching together at the same time is go oh, Don't do that. Oh, hey, or maybe not. Maybe maybe. Okay. I did the thing again. I did I can't get there. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do the shimmy shuffle Okay I'm so strong. Okay, here we go Okay, thank you. Now that we're done with- that was so easy. Why did I wail on her with my heel when I could've just run through the door like a big baby? Poosh! I boosh you! I boosh the cart out of the way. Okay. Uh, so that's what I was trying to say about all that. Just that I'm really glad that I was able to play both at the same time, and it's awesome that I did. But, you know, it would've been- would've been much, much more interesting on a whole level. Where- where was that? Wait, am I going the wrong way? All right, so now I'm actually gonna focus on playing the game here because I was not doing that. Oh, yeah. I should turn off- how do I turn off my flashlight? Oh, that's how I turn off my flashlight. Hey, dude! What if I belt you right in the top of the head? Yeah, go in there. Go in there, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sure was a thing over there. Okay. So now- Don't mind me! I'm just a-sneaking. Now we're going through this. I, I, I think like something has changed as far as the control scheme go because I don't remember things going quite this way. Can I turn that off? Thank you. Okay. So do I need to go down to the door or do I need to go down to the hallway? Why do I have a key card is a good question. Hello? 911, please! 
Yes? Oh, I get it. I gotcha. Ah, he should be in that room. I should be able to quickly go by. Yes. What? Why? Here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, mash, 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 mash. Go, 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 go. Yes. I actually like this introduction because this introduction removes weapons from me. And the thing about the first game is that it very quickly put a gun in your hand. And it very quickly put the ability to fight in your hand. And I'm not thinking that it's going to completely remove that from you. Thank you from the equation here, but it's definitely good to start off a bit slower. It's actually interesting because this this DLC is starting almost Oh, hi. Hi there. What am I Oh, I got the key card. So, oh, I can't go through there again. Uh Oh, yeah, that's right. No, you didn't see nothing. Oh, now I won't go in there? Come on! Jesus! You didn't see nothing! I'm in a mess of me! I gotta move. Whoa, hey! Hey! No, you don't! Yeah, what was that? Okay, bye! Thank you! Never come back! That is, uh... Interesting... <laughs> oh god, I thought it was gonna be the thing. What- what is this baloney?! This is malarkey! Why you- why would you come in here?! What are you doing? What are you- what are you doing?! I don't know what you're doing. Okay. That is all kinds of- What are you doing?! What- what are you- what are you doing?! Why are you sitting down all coward-like?! You're a strong independent woman! STRONG! I sprint for two seconds! Okay! I did not expect that to be there! Ugh! I don't even know what that is! I don't even know what to call that! So I got the key card so I can go out this door over here. Ugh. That is, mmm, that is disconcerting. <laughs> that is a terrifying monster. Oh, I, I apologize, I'm sweating all over the place. It's not because I'm like, I'm super nervous. It's really hot in here right now. And I haven't been able to turn on the air conditioning in a while. I am just... Hello? Oh. 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 Oh! Oh, oh god damn it. Uh, son of a bitch. I don't know why that got me so bad. There's absolutely nothing. Nothing to worry about. What's this? Why is this glow green? Is this important? Don't make anything glow green if it's not important. Okay, let's go. Damn it. God damn it with the hold. Agent status terminated. Authorization invalid. Gray. Could you say that a little more sensually? Maybe I can force it open with the computer. Okay, so this is why this is glowing. Ticket, ticket, ticket. I'm a hacker. I go to hackertype.org. CIA crash. FBI down. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, thank you! That thing... used its light. Oh. oh! That's so cool! That's so cool! Oh, man! But what is this? Okay. I'm a- I'm a hurrying! Is that you, Leslie? 
Okay, who's in this box? Oh! Come on! What? That was earlier in the first game. That, that I remember because I think Kidman was trapped. Oh man! I hope they never give me a weapon. I really hope. If the system is activated, you'll hear a high-pitched noise. Uh huh. From then, we can't do anything to help. Great. Good to know. All I can say is that it will be unsettling. Yeah. Leslie will be in there with you. You'll need to find him. Okay, cool. This is from before. Leslie, is he really here? Yeah, he might be. You never know with these things. Oh, I'm glad that this facility got all decrepit. That's really cool. I'm so glad that Leslie we're- Leslie is here. Okay. I gotta get to him before anything else does. Yeah, if I recall how the first game goes, uh, that never happens. Alright. Jeez. I really hope they never give me a go- Oh, hey! Are you a save point? Oh, look at you! You're so adorable. Oh, man, I wish I wasn't blathering so much during this episode, because I, I wasn't able to get a clear, concise thought through, so hopefully- Hello. Oh, do I sit down? Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! At least I don't need to self-reflect so much. Oh, do they- I really hope I never get a gun throughout this entire DLC. That would be amazing. Okay, so that is the end of the first part. I'm gonna pick this up in 30 minute episodes as I go along. So I really hope you enjoy this series. I know I'm having a good time. This is a really great start. That was a terrifying enemy and it actually is answering questions, which is all I ever wanted from the first game. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. And if you got any other games that you want me to play, let me know down there too. Thanks again everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.